Donald Trump has really topped himself this time. Uh, yesterday on Twitter, he went on a racist rant, and I'm calling it that because that's what it is, and I don't work for the New York Times or all these other outlets that refuse to call it what it is. He attacked uh, the squad, the group of uh, new Congresswomen, including uh, Representative Alexandria Casa Cortez, Ilhan Omar, Ayanna Presley, and Rashida Tlaib, and said that they should go back where they come from. Um, now, there's a few issues with that, but we want to show you what the most powerful person in the world said. He said, so interesting to see progressive Democrat Congresswomen who originally came from countries whose governments are a complete and total catastrophe, the worst, most corrupt and inept anywhere in the world, if they even have a functioning government at all. Now, loudly and viciously, telling the people of the US, the greatest and most powerful nation on earth, how our government is to be run. Why don't they go back and help fix the totally broken and crime infested places from which they came? Then come back and show us how it's done. These places need your help badly, you can't leave fast enough. I'm sure that Nancy Pelosi would be very happy to quickly work out free travel arrangements. So that is the President of the United States telling four women of color mm -hmm. who are representatives in the US Congress to go back where they came from. Which as we're going to describe, there's some logistical problems with that. Since they come from here, it's never really about where people are come people. from. It's just you know you're un-American because you are not white, mm -hmm. and that's just all it was. It was and what just for I guess what was shocking to me is that the president of the United States clearly still does not totally understand Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. and he Puerto thinks it's another country. Exactly. I think. Which is not even okay for five year olds mm. in this country. Yeah. But definitely not the person who is the people in Puerto Rico, this is your president. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't seem to understand that. Yeah. He seems to think, um, yeah, that it's another country. This is, but yeah, there's no even, I hate breaking this down and analyzing. And a lot of people over the weekend were spending time pointing out that, you know, um, AOC, Representative Tlaib, Representative uh, Presley, all from born in the United States. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. This was just a racist attack. It was unnecessary. It was disgusting. And I think that if you support this man, you are of this man. Mm -hmm. If you support this behavior, you are of this behavior. And if you don't call out this bad behavior, you are supporting it. You're condoning it. Yeah. You, you're because uh, the reasons that you wouldn't say, "Hey, this is racist. It's not okay." Those reasons aren't more valuable than being against racism yeah. when you have the power. And we're talking about people in power, and even on the left, it's not enough to just say, you know, I disavow this. We're shutting this down, it's not okay. Especially when you are in power to do something about this type of behavior. Because these type of words, they do often lead to violence. This is the type of belief that gets black people killed, mm -hmm. that gets Latin Americans killed and hurt. And little Latin American kids treated like they aren't so smart for having a grasp on Spanish mm -hmm. as five year old kindergartners and instead treated like they're nothing and they're other. And that affects people for the rest of their lives. And um, I, if you don't immediately speak out against this, you are of this. And if you can do something about this and you don't, I, I don't know. I don't know where to yeah. put you. Uh, I have some ideas. Okay. Uh, no, we're gonna have some response from uh, slightly more responsible people a little bit later on. Uh, but on this, um, it is it's just it's just screaming in your face white supremacy mm -hmm. as the official position of the U.S. government. That's all it is because what he's saying is that uh, you don't get to have an opinion about the U.S. government if ever in the past your ancestors came from a place that's not predominantly white. Now, some lying racist Republicans will say, no, he's just saying about immigrants. But that's, the, no, no, not really, because uh, AOC's family ostensibly, I mean, they're from the mainland, but from Puerto Rico, if you go far enough back, um, you have to go way farther back for Anna Presley because of the disgusting legacy of racism in this country. Mm -hmm. uh, for her, Donald Trump's family's like two and a half generations in this country. That's They've been around way longer than Donald Trump. That is a point that somebody made. I, I wish I could think of the name that somebody made that that is hilarious. That a lot of white people who love to tell black people specifically go back to Africa, go back where you came from because mm -hmm. of the slave trade. And because of immigration of white people mm -hmm. to America, the black people, their families were here first. Yeah, yeah, my family <laughs> came over like 80 years ago, okay? Around the time, I guess, Donald Trump's. That's a lot more recent than some of these people that he's saying should yeah. go back. 
Um, and it's just, it's just stupid racism. Not yeah. that they're smart racism, those two go hand in hand. But it's just dumb, it's just really, really dumb. And one of the things that's dumb about it is the, is the, the people who should know better, the institutions who should know better who won't call it what it is. The New York Times initially reported it as Trump stoking racial divisions Ugh. and using a lowest rung slur, widely regarded as beyond the pale. Um, so what RAC was in that, but not racist. Mm -hmm. um, now they have updated it by saying, uh, deeply uncomfortable as many Republicans are with Mr. Trump's racially infused politics. What is that? It's about? not infused like a LaCroix. It's not like there's an essence of racism in there, it's racist, that's what it is. And stop implying, by the way, the Republicans are deeply disturbed by it. If they're disturbed by it, they're silently disturbed by it. Because as of right now, and we're gonna wait until the end of the show to cover the Republicans, if there's any who have criticized him. The reason we're waiting is because it hasn't happened yet, okay? Right. So they're not that deeply uncomfortable with it, it doesn't appear. Also, and it's racist, and nobody, nobody will say it. GMA this morning mm -hmm. and CNN's New Day referred to the, the tweets as racist. Thank Everyone goodness. else is like it's the go back tweets. Ugh, and disclaimer, we, the two of us are, and Anna Kasparian, LaCroix super fans, so forgive so us. So we get to say. For those horrifying references, okay, thank you. Okay, but what are you infused? <laughs> no, you're right, you're right, yeah. It's like, man, this Cabernet's infused <laughs> with notes of walnut. No, it's white supremacy, that's what it is. Yeah, I think someone else said. Democracy um, <laughs> dies in your stupidity, you know, no. Um, a sprinkling of <laughs> of the desire to protect the future of white children. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's 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 notes of the KKK. Uh, okay, so look, he was criticized a lot, not by any Republicans or anyone who actually has a direct line to him, but he was criticized and. Um, I think that he has taken those criticisms to heart, and that's why this morning he tweeted, when will the radical left congresswoman apologize to our country, the people of Israel, and even to the office of the president for the foul language they have used and the terrible things they have said? So many people are angry at them and they're horrible and disgusting actions. So they're horrible, they're disgusting, they're terrible. If Democrats want to unite around the foul language and racist hatred spewed from the mouths and actions of these very unpopular and unrepresentative congresswomen, it will be interesting to see how it plays out. I can tell you that they have made Israel feel abandoned by the US. So they're unpopular and unrepresentative, even though they actually won their elections and he got less votes than the person he was running against. And here's the thing. How often have we heard recently, they just call everything racism. Everything that we say, they just say it's racism. He's saying that they're racist. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Ben Shapiro is gonna be very frustrated by yeah. that. There was so much of that over the weekend, Friday, Thursday. Um, do not find yourself in a position where you are attempting to shut down a person of color's experience. Because you can have a best friend who you feel like is the greatest person ever, who you feel like could never do anything wrong. And because you are not always in their head and in their body, they can still make a mistake mm. and be a person who pushes microaggressions, be a mm. person who maybe unintentionally is racist, does racist things, finds herself in a moment where she doesn't want to listen to women of color. Historically, like you know what I mean. Don't find yourself I can't black tell if you're or white. Who, who are you? I, I, I just think about? that this has happened a lot. You, you've had a lot of people coming to Nancy Pelosi's defense, saying that AOC mm. was pulling the race card, mm -hmm. which I don't think she ever called her racist. I'm pretty clear that she did not say that. But she I said think it's a that, pattern of targeting. Exactly. Yeah. Which don't and and I remember Joy Behar, who I am obsessed with, on the View, saying, "Oh, I don't think it's fair that she pulled the race card. You cannot ever." Tell a woman of color what she experienced. Mm. And you have no idea on a daily basis what a woman of color deals with, with her friends, with her coworkers, with her doctor, with you know, her bosses, people every day, people in school, her classmates, you know, people who are not her friends, you know, God forbid, but the president of the United States. You mm -hmm. cannot feel ever feel like you know someone so well that you can just shut down a woman of color's experience as a woman of color in this country with another person. Yeah. And it may be offensive, but then work on that. You know, Try to see what she's talking about, try to see where she's coming from, but it makes it worse. And 
it wasn't just Joy, it wasn't just you know a white woman. It was, I, there were a, a black members of Congress also defending Nancy Pelosi. And it doesn't yeah. matter, you can, not in that way, you cannot shut down a woman of color's experience. And I think that there are ways to defend Nancy Pelosi if you feel like she's in the right on this, I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. But you cannot say that what AOC said was unfair. Yeah. Because you don't you don't get her experiences, and that just makes it that's a microaggression. Mm -hmm. Like saying no, no, no. The phrase "race card" is a microaggression. It's a little racist. Stop saying it. Stop using it. Um, I I just I, that is so bothersome. And then there was even even in defense of them, there's been so many missteps. Even after this racist tweet outburst, there's been you know, hey, they say really outrageous things, but this is bad. How about they don't say outrageous things? Mm -hmm. How about you don't walk through the world like they do. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching this clip from The Damage Report. For more content from the show and access to TYT Network members only exclusives, go to tyt.com slash Brooke. Wait, no, it's tyt.com slash John. Go to tyt.com slash John to sign up.